let us discuss one time setup and one time tear down attribute basically one time setup is say for example if i if i have 50 test scripts so in that case only one time my particular browser should be running and only one time my particular browser should be closing means i'll be using one time setup and one time tear down so let us implement how you can implement this particular one time setup and one time tear down attribute so what i will do is i will create one uh, separate folder there will implement one time setup and one time tear down those attributes so i wanted to add one simple folder called base class under that i will create one more class just to specify the class name so here i'll specify base test so i'll represent this class as a public that's all so let us implement a uh, one time setup and one time tear down basically uh, <clears throat> when we have 50 test scripts these two methods will be working only one time before running all 50 test scripts one time setup or attribute will, it will work and after running all the test scripts one time tear down uh, attribute will be working so let us create one method called public wide open then i'll create a uh, same way another method called let me represent this particular method as attribute as a one time attribute that's all maybe we have not imported a, a unit framework there's a reason it is giving us an error just click on that just press control dot then here it will it is suggesting you to use import that particular n unit dot framework just click on that so now this particular using statement got added into the top in the same way we'll add one more method so this is one time setup and this is one time tear down okay that's all so i'll change the method name as a close that's all so i'll go to my test class here i have created one test script this will uh, launch the chrome browser and it will launch us it will enter this particular url then it will find this particular web element that is a uh, email field then it will enter this particular text into that particular field then it will simply close the web browser so what i will do is so i want just i will take this particular two lines so this launches the browser and it will enter this particular url so i'll keep this into the base class sorry base test then I'll go to the test class and closing this particular browser, right? So I'll take this, I will cut this particular statement, I'll paste it under the close attribute, I mean the one time tear down attribute. So in one time setup, this will launch us as the browser and it will enter this particular URL. So let me clear this particular errors. Just click on this iWeb driver and just pre press control dot. It will ask you to use it import these things just import it just press control dot that's all so 
here you are getting still one more error because driver is not uh, global variable here so i will take this particular interface i'll make this as a, a public so it so this particular interface reference can be used by the subclasses as well so that's all so in my test class we have only two lines of code so basically this reduces the number of lines you are writing in a test script to creating particular test case so still we are getting one error here so we need to imp sorry we need to we need to use the inheritance concept so that we can inherit all the properties from this particular base test class so before that you need to do one thing that is called you need to use this particular namespace into the subclass what we have called test class so i will say using that's all in in case of c sharp if we need to import sorry if we need to inherit some properties from the other classes we need to use the colon symbol followed by the class name class name we have called base test so this is the test we have created under base class so now everything is fine so before running this particular script i will build this particular solution so you can clean it one time and you can say rebuild this particular solution so if any errors are there it will be showing under here so there are zero fail failures and zero skipped and it will be showing you the how many succeeded also so basically we have reduced a number of codes uh, sorry number of lines of codes writing in the while creating our test scripts so if you run this particular test script you can run right click on you can run this particular script that is a one case and second case you can right click on this particular method and you can select the option as run selected test okay it is successfully running so no issues with this particular test case so like this you can add a uh, multiple selenium c sharp automation scripts so just i will change the method names i'll give uh, test method one test method two and test method three that's all so total we have three automation scripts with a less number of lines so basically when you are inheriting some uh, other classes so that will reduce the number of lines you are writing under the test scripts so if you rebuild this particular solution you'll be getting all the three methods over here so whichever method you wanted to run you just to select that particular method and you can run select a test You can maximize the window as well because it is uh, showing in a uh, minimized mode so that you can do it in a uh, before like one time setup what i will do is after launching this particular chrome driver i'll use the driver object dot manage dot then use window dot maximize so this maximize the particular launched window so let me run uh, test method 2 here 
so you can uh, select and run any of the test scripts which is listed under the particular test explorer tab yeah it is running for 